So let's start uh, looking at the application hierarchy once and then we'll proceed with the case design. Yes, here I'm on the Dev Studio. Let's look at the uh, application definition of the HR services which we have created. So what would you see is HR services is built upon the UI kit. Yes, so here I see HR services is built upon the UI kit. This in turn is built upon the Pega rules. So even though we chose the type as classic, I mean, we, we did not, uh, when classic says there are no predefined entities, nothing. It's just like a clean sheet of paper. But yet we will be able to access or we will be able to utilize all the features provided by the Mega rules base application. Okay. So even though it's still an application from scratch, yet I would be able to reuse all the features provided by the Pega platform because of the Pega rules as to build on application. So generally, when you are dealing with um, exposing your application as a service, right? So like for example, you have built your Pega application, but you would like to expose that as a service application. Okay, so we, we will be dealing with a lot of rules for it, right? It's not just like uh, any other rules. So we, we have few rules specific to those, right? Like you need to create a, a service. It could be a REST service or a SOAP and the uh, rules corresponding to it, your business logic, where it lies. So all of these things. Similarly, on the other hand, you also need a... Uh, Whenever there is a service, you, you obviously need an another application for connecting it to it for the requesting purpose, right? Like it's it's a two way thing. When you when you have a service application, you, you would also have a uh, requester application as well, right? So yes. talking other perspective in the other application, you, you should be building your connectors. Right? in order to send the request parameters or in order to receive the response parameters and all. So you might need to build your connectors, right? be it again, so pressed or whatever. Right? So these rules, your service requests or your connectors, so these rules will be part of your integration rule sets. The ones that are related to integrating your application with other external sources. So those will lie on the integration uh, rule sets. Okay, so let us go ahead and we'll add in some case types. So the business transactions related to HR. So what all do we uh, have when it comes to the HR department? What business transactions can we handle? The recruitment. Okay, so and instead of this, I'm going to use something called as work dash cover dash here. Okay. So I'll tell you why I used this. Let me submit. First we'll we'll see how the case designing can be done. And for every business transaction, we, we would have a case life cycle, right? Which means a, a starting point and a clear ending point for it. My transaction cannot go on and on and on. It shouldn't be cyclic. Rather, it, it should have a clear starting point and a clear end point. Okay. So let us define the stages, steps, and process corresponding to the recruitment.
and yes my recruitment case type is available now pega gives us the default um, create stage it gives us one stage uh, to just show how the template is going to be this is my create stage with the create process and the create collection step so we can start off from right here in order to define your life cycle but i'll i'll let the create stage be so i'll start creating my own uh, stages here okay maybe i'll just name it uh, submission where we would collect the candidate details something like collect uh, the personal information of the candidate and maybe the educational info and from the experience info okay all right and i would like to name my process as a best practice so i would like to name it as a action I mean, it's like a verb it shouldn't be a noun so i would like to just name it um, collect personal or collect candidate details okay maybe the second stage is going to be your interview where i would like to collect some information regarding the written test of the candidate and then my actual technical discussion is going to start right so that's where i would decide whether the candidate can be selected or not so instead of collect information i'll go for an approve and reject right? so whenever i use approve reject i've got an alternate stage coming up here to decide what happens if it is rejected okay. so this is a candidate selected and then for interview again i would like to name it and and once the candidate is selected what are we looking at is release of okay. so in order to send an offer letter yes obviously i i would be using a send email automation step here to send across the email regarding the offer letter and then maybe i would like to collect a feedback from the candidate as in how the overall interview experience is okay. right assuming this is my happy path flow similarly we, we would like to design our uh you know negative scenario as well so what happens if a candidate is rejected again even though if is rejected i i would still send him an email saying probably you can come back after um, you know like three months or something to apply again then maybe i would like to collect some feedback okay right so this transaction here is ending with sending the offer letter and collecting the feedback right but whether the candidate has joined or not is he onboarded what about his uh, ip infra requirements is he provided with the laptop is his documents verified so we are not talking about those things because my recruitment case my recruitment transaction ends with sending the email alone right onboarding could be an another for me right again that depends upon the complexity and that depends upon how uh, you are going to handle the transaction right so if if onboarding is just a simple task i think we can just add in one more stage here just add those document steps and all but onboarding is an entirely different transaction right so that depends upon how we are uh, articulating the case life cycles right okay okay right so now we have designed a business transaction or your so called case life cycle good 